The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. On this Wednesday, the 7th of February, we're looking at the market up 58. This is the Dow up 58 to 38,580. The all time high was 38,783. It should try to get there or very close. And then I think we've got a chance of some kind of a pullback. SP is trading up. Uh, quite sharply up 16 at 49.70, made a new all time high. Gonna call that a leg E. Let me just type that in right there. Uppercase on the way up, so we go E. Um, still leg B in the weekly chart. That's very bullish looking out, but shorter term, I think we're getting kind of toppy here. Let's go to the QQQ. Uh, oops, don't type it there, type it right here. Uh, one, two, three, QQQ. And here we go. Qs are up uh, two at 429.67, made an all-time high at 430.24, just slightly higher than all the other highs. This extends the weekly chart. Ooh, let's just see. Did that make? Is that still a leg C? Uh, 429.85, 4.30, yes, yes, still leg C in the weekly chart. Very good. And we're looking at the IWM, which was weaker a little earlier. It's still. Uh, yeah, it's down at dollar thirty-one at one ninety-two thirty-seven. Just kind of stuck here. <clears throat> Let's go to gold. We've got a caller on the line. I want to get this done really quickly. Gold is up five at two thousand fifty-six. Stuck in a trading range. Silver is silver is trading down 0 0.04 at twenty-two point forty-three. Also, just kind of stuck in the low range. Let's go to high-grade copper. High-grade copper is trading. Um, down quite sharply at 3.76, down 0.02. Let's go to bonds. Bonds are right now trading. Um, also down, down 4.30 seconds. The yields are going a little higher. Let's go to crude oil, and then we'll go to, uh, then we'll go to the dollar. Uh, crude oil is up 24 cents, not a big deal. And the dollar is trading. It was down just now. It's down 13 ticks at 104.04, uh, but holding above the 200-period moving average. I'm going to say, well, let's go to our first caller. We've got a William in Boca Raton. William, how are you? I'm doing fine. How are you, Basil? I'm very well, thank you. You'd like to good look to at? Good to talk with you. Yes, very good to talk with you. What are we looking at? Um, I like Goodyear Tire and Rubber. They're going from um, not making any money last year to uh, making about a dollar a share. So um, I think with um, people starting to go back to work and a lot of people going to work, that um, they're going to need tires for their car. So... So I, I don't disagree with what you're saying. What I am looking at is there's been – I'm not sure what it is because I follow Goodyear. I don't we've not, I don't think we've ever owned it for the subscribers to the opening call. But I have followed it closely because I, like you, I, I consider it a measure of uh, activity in the economic world based on people going to work, driving, etc. But I'm – Worried that the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, I'm pointing to it here in the middle chart. That's the weekly chart. Look at that 200. It can't hold above 200, the 200 period moving average for long and it keeps getting repelled, but it keeps coming back to it at 14.46 right now. So good, your ties at 13.78 down nine cents. So, are you what, what you're planning to take a position more as a, yeah. a kind of a, a longer term, more let's call it an intermediate term? rather than a short term, what would you have? As, would you have a stop, and uh, where would you put the stop? Um, I would put it right where it is right now, just about. Um, but uh, the thing that I noticed, and I'm sure you see it too, that there's been a couple of big volume up spikes. Um, the volume was really high on those days. And um, so I'm thinking, okay, Somebody's coming in and grabbing a lot of this stuff, and um, that's what. Although I've I've done Goodyear way back, which I, I do it with recessions. Every time we come out of a recession, I I go to I go to shoes and tires. <laughs> I love that thinking. So, that's great. Excellent. Yes. 
so at any rate, um, I, I've done it before. I haven't been in it for maybe a year and a half. But also the fact that oil prices don't seem to look like they want to go up that much higher. Um, I, I, you know, obviously they need petroleum to make their tires. Yes. Um, I'm just thinking. And the other thing is that they have some new – they make their most money on their big industrial tires, those ones that – Like, like the Caterpillar. Do you ever you know, Caterpillar or the Big something. equipment tires. They make right. a lot of money on those. And they've developed a new tire that is supposed to be, you know, just the, – the, they catch me out as far as a new progress in that kind of a tire to last longer and – do better things and all that kind of stuff. William, I think um, you said so, the appropriate thing when you said cats meow because caterpillar probably would benefit a lot. Uh, you know, I I I like your thinking, and I I'm going to just suggest a way of looking at this because the chart right now I don't know when the earnings come out, um, but I'm looking at it. And I'm saying it's trying to form a base, the 1329 area, the 200 period moving average. To 1290, I would say is a good cushion. So, what I would do is this I would start a position here. This is based on your thinking that this is kind of an outgrowth of economic activity, improving people going back to work, driving has become more prevalent. Uh, interesting enough, if you look at Toyota Motors, it had a round number one, uh, 202 just recently, and today it's at 224, round number high. Unbelievable, these round numbers. Um, and it's trading at 222.81. But that is, I've been talking about Toyota as being one of the better auto company in terms of chart patterns that I've been looking at for quite a while. So I think I'm in your camp. But what I am going to say is I would rather have proof of the pudding. So this is what I'm going to suggest. Start a position now. This position should have a wide stop because it's, it's your entry into it. It's still on shaky ground, just chart-wise. I'm not talking about it. We don't know about the book, the, the bookkeeping part of it. So start a position at 1381. Talk about round numbers. It had a round number 14 high today. I, I can't believe how many round numbers we're looking at all over the show. Um, and I'm going to suggest start your position. Let's just follow it. And, and I would, 1393, if you're prepared to have a dollar stop, just initially – that's to me that would be a good way to enter it and let's today's wednesday let's keep following it and let's look at it again maybe monday this coming monday because if it's starting to push into the uh 1435 1455 area that is exactly what you want to see if it starts to come back down it closes under 1350 that's where we need to monitor it if it's starting to move higher and over a two-week period, it is actually trying to tackle the 15s, then that's where I would say add to the position. So I don't know if that appeals to you, if that's a way of thinking of it. I mean, another way is to play an option call, looking out. But I, you asked me about the stock. That's kind of how I would look at it right now. Right. Um, by the way, one more thing is they, they're, they're um, coming out. Um, it's already on the, I think it's already on the market where they have a new tire that goes on EVs that um, gives them better gas mileage. Um, really? But, hey, hold on a so. second. I want to hear about this. Uh, we'll, we'll be back with William. This is a break coming up. Hold tight. The Dow is up. Let me quit you as we go to the break. The Dow is up. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back and on with William and Boca and Tom. We're talking about Jesus. So, can you tell me about this? What is this with the ties of the EV? Um, they have a... Um, the reason they didn't make any money last year was because they were retooling for these new product developments that um, not only with the large commercial industrial tires, but also they have a tire coming out now that will give the EVs more mileage um, and, and just more mileage for it, plus lasts longer. So it should be something that as a replacement tire, they would, you know, um, be able to sell into that market. The other thing that's interesting is that some investor came in and said, you got to get rid of your individual uh, local tire stores. They're, oh. they're not making the kind of money they should be making on that. So he said, so they're in the process of getting rid of that item that really doesn't pay a good return and uh, just go with um, uh, direct sales of some, I guess, to the tire stores as opposed to Manage them, managing them, because oh, to be quite honest with you, it's hard to get help these days. That can for somebody that wants to go get a job replacing tires. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all very interesting. Thank you for telling us that. It's something to monitor. And yeah. So as far as the GT is concerned, I I still say that I would start the position here with a little bit of a wider stop. I want the evidence to be that it starts to make higher highs. That'll tell me they're doing the right thing because the stock will, uh, you know, initiate the uh, the upside momentum, and that'll be the proof that things are turning around. So thank you very much for giving us uh, that advice, and good luck thank with you. the trade. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. And likewise, yeah. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, bye bye. Call again. Thank you. So, folks, let's just look at something that I think at this particular point will be quite important. When we're looking at, I just want you to go through some of the grains. So the grains are, for instance, wheat is rallying today. It's up eight. But you see this, what I call the inside track repellent zone. Look how the price keeps bumping up and then it fails. But it is rallying today. If you're looking at soybeans, um, also trying trying its best to form some kind of a base, but it keeps making lower lows. So there's a mix between they're both going down, but wheat is slightly stronger than soybean. If you're looking at corn, 
corn is is even below the 200 period exponential moving average in that category, which is part of the uh, DBA. This is the DBA right here, which uh, we, we own from the 13s and it's trading right now. I've taken quite a bit off. Got a core position still and it's acting really well. It's up at 21.94, up 17 cents. The only way I can look at this and say, well, let's see what soybeans are doing because that has a fairly big, it has quite a, an impact on the DBA and it's up today up 53 cents at 24.09 and that's helping that DBA contract. It's pushing away from the 200 period moving average. We've seen this pattern often it goes to peak D and stores almost looks like the dollar doesn't it? Just stalling at that 200 period moving average except the dollar made a lower low today. Uh, so that's something quite important. The other aspect that I want to talk about was I mentioned when I was interviewed by Tom yesterday I, I'd said that Toll Brothers was going sideways, it had, we were talking about round numbers, and it had a bunch of round numbers uh, going to its most recent all-time high, which was at 105.91, but surrounding it, there was a 99, then 100 round number level, and then it pulled back. So today it's trading at 99.60, but it's basically in this rectangle, the sideways trading band, and, but if you look at the weekly chart, it's making slightly lower highs and lower lower lows. Within that context, um, if we look at the HGX, HGX coming up right now, the HGX index is the Philadelphia housing sector. Why am I not getting that? HGX, there we go. Um, it looks very much like Lenar or Toll Brothers trading sideways, but not breaking down. And yet the yields have gone higher. So there's that whole real estate area is uh, when you when you go to the different statistics, for instance, New York is having a terrible time with uh, some of its real estate, even having to trans uh, transfer the um, original offices transfer them into uh, a mode that's very different, which will be uh, residential. That takes a lot of work. Uh, but in other areas, prices are holding extremely well. For instance, in the Boston area, it's really, they don't have the uh, inventory, and that's really the big issue. So we've got a really mixed market. I just want to go back to the SMHs to show you that this strength that we're looking at here there's been a kind of a top, and I've, I, I made a note here of different tops that we've seen in so many stocks and so many sectors. Um, 195.90 was the high in the semiconductor uh, right here. That was in January, January the 25th. It goes to 195.90. Pulls back fairly sharp into the 194, uh, is it? 184 area, comes back, and for three days it's up in the 195s, 195.89. One penny below that uh, was the high yesterday. It had a red candle, but it's holding very nicely today, up 2.79. Um, these these patterns, are, they're, they're important to monitor to see how on the right side it breaks either this cup formation sharply above it, that's very important. Or if it stalls, and that's really what we're going to be watching. I mean, in the semiconductor, you can even go to Taiwan Semi. Uh, it has had a – look, I didn't even know that. I just picked it up right now to see where it is because it had a good session yesterday. Today it had round number 120. And it's trading at 123.04. The all-time high was 145, a round number high, at an all-time high. Back in December, I think it was December. I'll put December, but I must just check. I think it might be. Yes, no, no, it was January. January of 2022, round number four, 145 high, plummets down to the 50, um, what was that, 50? 59 years, so just about 60. That's a, that's a that's a huge turn down. And now it's trading back up, and it's at 123. Um, and as I say, it made a, a round number low this morning. Look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is trading <clears throat> up 9 at 692. Uh, it had a 663 round number low yesterday when it made an all-time high of, that was yesterday, of... 697 
6.54, and today it's at 6.91. So I'm monitoring these uh, these round numbers very closely just to see exactly what what is the implication. Why would when you, when prices are up at that level, why would you just put in a 60? Why do you not put 60? I want to buy it at 6.91.50 or something. Why the round number? Because you don't see them very often. You can go through all these different candles, all the way from uh, October, the oh, yeah. October lows, and you'll find very few. So I'll be back in a moment. Uh, uh, we had uh, I had a question yesterday. Could I look at Symbotic? We'll look at Symbotic. It had a huge turn down um, yesterday after a poor earnings report. Trying to recover a little bit today. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Target Conditions Hour. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, we're back. Basil Trapp. We're looking at uh, Symbotic. It's trading up $2.17 at 40.08. Uh, I should mention that uh, subscribers will be long uh, since, uh, oh, for a very long time uh, in the 21 area. This ran up to 64.14. We're taking really nice profits. Uh, when it got into the 37 area, I thought for uh, subscribers who hadn't got in, maybe we should try it. We'd attempt to uh, get in there for an add on. Uh, it was very difficult because it just kept wiggling away and come back and we'd go. So in this 
what I read over the last couple of weeks is that there was a very high subscriber, uh, sorry, subscriber, there's an insider, a lot of insider selling all the way from the CEO, just all the way down. And that made me really nervous. And this big rally from 39 uh, about a week and a half ago to the 52 area, I, it, was, it made me really suspicious. Didn't do anything, been monitoring, and then they came out with earnings. When I read the earnings report, there are a whole lot of things that are going on with this company. Now, what is the company? Symbotic Inc., end-to-end -end AI, robotic warehouse automation systems. I mean, everything sounds like this is the place you want to be. But they are... They are developing automation uh, systems and uh, methodologies. They have five or six big clients, but then they start to do the smaller clients. Uh, they're doing something a little bit different. And it seems to me as a company, the question I want to know, is this a time to start uh, an entry into Symbotic? And my immediate response was, in my mind, I said, to myself, oh, "Gee, I don't know if I can do that." And this is a, this is the response to the earnings report was terrible. It was trading in the 52. Next thing is down in the, in the 30s, uh, 38, 37. But I tell you what, this is it's at the 200 period exponential moving average right now. It's giving back some of the gain. The early gain it went to the 41.77 level. Now it's at 39.32. My, my impression is that in the next few weeks, it's going to give an opportunity to enter, and that will be – they're on the right track. I, I think the question here is profits, it's, it's, it, their, their product mix at this point with the, the large clients, and now they're trying to cater to smaller clients. That's usually very costly. Um, and that just says to me, Yes, it's an appropriate uh, company to look at. Certainly, in the longer term, it's already been once to the 64s. Theoretically, it should try that again in the future. But when's the future? And where will it stop the decline? So this is what I'm looking at. Uh, Charlie, I think that I would hold off an entry. Normally, I would say start a little bit here, and you can always add – after just one huge gap down and an attempt that hasn't taken out yesterday's high, it stopped at 41.77. Uh, if it went to 42.50, I'd say, hey, that's that's not bad. And it's pulling back quite sharply. Now, I'm going to say hold off. For core subscribers, uh, subscribers in the core position, I'm not doing anything. We've taken quite a bit off. We've got core position now just as something to hold, and we want to add to it. I'm avoiding that right now. Uh, all I can say is that it's on my list, and I will talk about it appropriately. How about today's Wednesday? How about Tuesday of next week? Uh, maybe early next week. Give me a yell, and we'll have a look at it together. But at this particular point, I'm just going to say the response yesterday from the evening, Tuesday, uh, Monday evening into Tuesday, and the response today tells me that for the next two days, it's really important. Why? Because if it closes under yesterday's low of 37.28, no, I have to say, if it closes under 36, it's got to go a little bit lower than that. If it closes under 36, I'm just going to say what it's done is it's taken a huge amount of time to fill in the gap from the day that it was trading on the 20th of November to between 38.99 and 30. Uh, I think that's a six, thirty-six, sixty-eight. We've only, and then the, the next day, it powers higher, and I think that was actually an earnings news, earnings surprise, and that was a fifty low. Now it's filling that gap. Let it fill the gap a little bit more, and then we can talk about it. So hold off. I wouldn't do anything right now. Let me just check my notes. Um, I'd like to see where Anet is. We were talking about it yesterday. Um, not a bad day. It's up for 268, uh, trading right in that range. It had a two, 276 all-time high and a 260 
uh, round number intraday, and then it had also 275 round number open. That was the day that it made the high. Uh, I'm watching this very closely. You can see that the 260, 265, uh, 275, those are all number round numbers, and it's actually still underneath those, at least some of the round numbers. So, um, yeah. I'm just watching it very closely. Uh, what did I also? Oh, IBM, IBM. So the question was, what to do about IBM? I don't think I finished the, quite the story. Uh, it was a question about international business machines. That's information technology, AI, cloud, enterprise, software. They're into everything. I think they finally got the product lineup after years of talking about it, I think they've got it right. This is, a, I said that this peak C with the gap and the pullback looks so much like it's a final move of this particular daily chart and that it has to re-energize to be able to get back to the high that was made at 196.90. Uh, Let me just type that in, 196.90. So IBM, 190, 196.90. Trading at 183.13, not a, not so bad. Um, and look at that weekly chart, huge candles, almost like chap wave inverted Roman candle. Um, I just think it's having a bit of a rest. It's still in the gap. Uh, the 180 area is really important. If it takes that out in the next week or so, that's going to be a problem. So I just want you to go back to this to talk about this particular pattern here. This is the down. It's trading up 166. So there's no other way that I could really count it. What we do is try to identify the low bar and then count each successively higher peak. First is peak A, then it makes a lower high that makes it a peak. And then you start, it goes one penny above that peak. It starts a new leg up. The leg is a floating leg, stays in that leg, leg B, leg B, leg B, until it makes it peak B. Then it goes one bar rest and goes to leg C at 38,783, all-time high in the Dow, and then it pulls back for one, two, and this is the third session of not making a new leg D. And what I've said is I believe that there should be a D and it should be just slightly higher. In this particular formation, when you look at millennial, millennium levels, that's 36,000, 37,000, 38,000, each level has a particular uh, resistance point. In this case, I think that the 38,900s in the Dow is going to offer a lot of resistance. That's the way it's looking at this particular point. The on-balance volume, though, is kind of overboard. The other uh, technical indicators are holding quite nicely. I'll be back in a moment as our chapter Tiger Technicians out. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So the temp has gone to a leg E. We have to wait for the full bar to conclude before we can call it a peak E. So we're going to be watching this closely. It's still up 32, the E mini contract. So let's just get back to this. And I want to just mention that in Symbotics case, <clears throat> Huge, I think, I'm not sure if it's 80%, but it's a huge percentage of their um, clientele was Walmart, and then they had some others. And Walmart, that contract, I think, uh, goes until 2024. So if they could leverage, I mean, having Walmart as a, a major client, I mean, they should be able to leverage that a lot more, and they should be able to leverage it with Walmart. So far, I don't think they have. So I'm going to be watching that one very closely. It's at uh, 38.66. Now it's only up 75 cents. That's what I'm saying. Hold off on any addition to this or any new position. The uh, question about Lily. Eli, Lily makes an all-time high yesterday of round number 742, today's high, and then it closed down sharply, and today it's come back. It's up 20, it's 725, up 20. So the vicissitudes, the, the way the market's working, it's, it's, it's a little methodology right here, where there are sharp moves up and down, but it's basically standing still, in this case, from yesterday's high is very interesting. I mean, why would you have the round number at an all-time high, pull back that sharply, and then come back and almost test it, and now you're up 20 at 7.25, when the high was 7.42. So these are things I'm monitoring very closely because it's the kind of action you get. It's the kind of ripples that you have to see the underlying uh, construct of the market as it's getting to an area that says it's getting a little kind of hysterical in some areas. I mean, let's face it, isn't that 742? You don't buy a Lily, Eli Lily, all the way up from 560 just uh, two months ago. And now you, you're grabbing it at around number 742. I mean, after all, somebody's buying and somebody's selling, right? That's the way the market works. At 742, I'm watching it closely. But then again, as I said before, look, Toyota Motors. As this round number two or two pulls back, pulls back, and holds, can't break out, then suddenly, boom, it soars and today it's up at 224.02. So that's what I'm watching. So, yeah, a couple of questions came in. I wrote them down. Let me just see where we are. Uh, oh, SGP, SPG. That's uh, Simon Property. So this is the Simon Property Group. They're mostly in malls and shopping centers. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, – all the shopping centers, but what happened is you see this platform that we can look at right here. Just draw a straight line across. I'll make it a rectangle formation so it can cover just the slight nuances between the prices. Look how that's resistance. And then what happens is it pulls back and retests the high. Uh, so SGP, Simon Property, makes a high right there to PD at 146.91. 
on the 20th of December, pulls back and then runs. Where does it run to? 146.63. What was the previous high? 0.91. So it's just under it. Pulls back even deeper. And then it has a big move yesterday. Uh, was that earnings? I think so. And if you're looking, and it hasn't taken it out yet, 144.61 is the high today. It was just a fractionally high high yesterday. But that's the level you got to watch. If it starts to really trade above that for two, three days in the 147 area, that is very impressive. But if you look at the weekly chart, big C1, C2, that's like a double top. And it hasn't broken out yet. And yet, when you're thinking malls, uh, property, assignment property is actually doing very well. Um, it, if you're looking at the market in terms of real estate, you have to say, hey, that's actually very good action. Um, another question came in, can I look at WM? WM is part of the stocks that I look at all the time over in the, in the big economic picture. And that's waste management, all-time high as we're speaking, 190.29 was the high today, it's at 189, uh, 190.04, up 83. I looked at this uh, yesterday and the day before, trying to look at round numbers, not a single round number, just a steady move to the upside, waste management, well, of course, that's being produced every day. So um, weekly chart leg B, monthly chart leg C, so looking out in 20, this year, 2024, still very strong. I said I'd look at Sintas. Sintas is uh, overalls, uniforms, rentals, uh, at an all-time high as we speak at 626.18 today. Australia 626.18 as we speak. Leg E in the daily, leg D in the weekly, and the leg E, is that correct? Leg E in the monthly chart has extended, yep, all-time high. That's very good action. That's talking about the economy because overalls, uniforms, rentals. Let's look and talk about rentals. Let's look at URI. Uh, URI is... Uh, United Rentals. As we speak, all-time high, maybe. Uh, 658.86 was the high today. 658.53 was the high a few days ago. 658.51. Unbelievable. And did have some round numbers, a whole bunch of round numbers in the 653, 650, 642, and 645 area. So um, this is this is, a, this is high level consolidation over the last few days. Will it suddenly break out by going to the six, uh, 60s? Not so sure, but it's acting extremely well. That's part of the economy. It's a very good sign. What's the other one? Oh, Marriott. Look at this Marriott hotels or resorts. What do they call resorts and hotels? Um, breaks to new all time high as we speak at uh, 249.22. It's up 4.47. So none of this is negative as we speak. So this is going to be um, to A, B, this is a G slash C. How many G slashes, G slash Cs do we get? Many. And that should go to a D at some point. So, so far, all the action is very positive. Uh, I'm looking at, let me just go back to this for a moment. I want to look at that. So I put that right down, what I'm looking at here. Yes. So in the... Um, Qualcomm. I had a question about that a couple of days ago, and I forgot to look at it. Qualcomm did make a peak D high uh, about two and a half weeks ago. It went to 150. Should have typed that in. 157.98. It's trading now at 145.03. It's up 93 cents. Had a bit of a pullback. It's a D in the in the daily chart and a D in the weekly chart, but the high, the all-time high. Uh, well, the one that was made in 2022, January, was at 193.58. It did pull back sharply to 100, so that's uh, almost a 50% decline, and now it's back again. So, yes, it's running sharply, but it's starting to stall. And we've seen this kind of rotation through the uh, semiconductors. Uh, what did I want to look at here? Oh, GE was the next thing that was important. GE. All-time high as we speak, alternate count, this is going to a D. So leg D, 138.83. Uh, this, I'm not going to say it's an all-time high because remember this is a 10 for 1. Was it 100 for 1 or some crazy split like that? Um, but it's certainly on a yearly basis. This is time and it'll have to be really bad news. It's good those yields again. The yields are trading 
uh, down through the Texas Stock Market. I'll be back in a moment. That's a trap. We can't get your issues on. And the Dow is up. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Yes, it is stuck. It's not breaking down. It's not going up. This is going to stay stuck for a little while between 20. If it closes over 20.23, 20 it should start making its way up towards a uh, sort of leg B in towards 21. But it really needs to hold 
uh, in 19, 30, 19 as uh, support. And then a question about UNF, UNFI, question in the den. This is um, United Natural Foods. I remember quite some time ago, it was in the single digits. It was a, a stream of stock we looked at, never really got it. Uh, but now it's look at this arch formation, monthly chart. But now the weekly is starting to improve. United Natural Foods, UNFI, trading on change is 1652. This is a leg C. I suspect that if it's able to uh, push it into the 70s, that's going to be a really good sign and turn the 15s into very good support. I'm um, going to wrap it up now. We're going to go to Steve Rose and all the rest of the great programming. Um, uh, see you tomorrow. Check out my opening call daily's newsletter. I'm expecting the Dow to try for a leg D in the next day or so. Um, have a great day.